travel insurance is extremely important, especially if you're traveling for a long time. If you're taking a grown-up gap year or if you're committing to travel full-time indefinitely, you need to have insurance. So I guess I've already answered the, <laughs> the question, but stick around for the rest of the video so that you'll see what you need to make sure that you're covered for. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Stephanie Perry. I took my own grown-up gap year when I was 41. I quit my job as a hospital pharmacy technician and I traveled for a year. I came back, went back to work, and now I'm a full-time digital nomad. And my Grown Up Gap Year A to Z video series is to help you do the same thing. If that's what you want, I'm not being bossy. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and ring the notification bell. That way you will get notified when I post a new video. So like I said, there are three things that you need to make sure you're covered for when you're traveling full time or when you're traveling long term. Being covered for things like trip cancellations might be a little bit less important unless you're the kind of person who books far in advance. Most of the time when you're traveling full time, you book your flights, you book your accommodations as you go. And so there's probably less of a chance that you're gonna to need to cancel. But if there's a chance, you'll wanna make sure that your travel insurance does cover, cover you for cancellations. Part number two that you wanna be covered for is the most important. Most importantly, you wanna make sure that your travel insurance covers you in the event that you need to be hospitalized or that you need to be evacuated medically to your home country. In my affordable travel video, I talked about picking places where it's inexpensive to travel to for your grown up gap year. And I did that. I spent most of my time in Southeast Asia, which meant that any small health issue that came up, I could probably cover out of pocket. In fact, I did. When I went to the Philippines, I went to a beach that had sand fleas, which I had been warned about, but what I didn't know is that the sand fleas can give you a disease. So I got leishmaniasis on my legs. Um, it was disgusting, <laughs> it was really ugly. For weeks, I had these ugly sores, open sores on my legs. I just did a Google search and I found a hospital close by. I walked into their emergency room, signed in. The doctor saw me, treated me, and gave me drugs and the whole thing cost me less than 30 I think it was $32 total but just like with any other kind of insurance it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it the main reason that you need to have travel medical insurance is in case you're hospitalized some hospitals in some countries will treat you and won't release you until you pay in some countries you'll need to be medically evacuated to another city or even back to the United States. I saw a GoFundMe a couple of years ago for a young woman who had to be evacuated from Guatemala to Atlanta and it was over $80,000. So even though while you're a long-term traveler, you'll probably be in places where basic healthcare is inexpensive, the travel medical insurance is crucial to cover the big emergencies. GoFundMe pages can only go so far. I don't think one day passed for me in Thailand without seeing a tourist with a broken arm or broken leg or crazy um, rash, road rash up and down the side of their body where they had you know, gone out on a scooter and had an accident. I drove a scooter in Thailand for the first time, had no instruction. I rented the scooter with my passport and I think $10 and they gave it to me. I did it, other people are out there doing it, it's dangerous. And so you wanna make sure that you're insured. My travel insurance is through World Nomads. I did a quick search. I'm talking about I compared between two companies and went with the cheapest one. But I'll include a link to World Nomads, which will be my affiliate link if you want to use them. But I'll also include a link to a comparison site so that you can compare and see for yourself. Because with insurance, you know that rates vary differently based on your age and based on the needs. My insurance with World Nomads is inexpensive and I have a policy that I just renew every year. I don't carry coverage for some of the higher risk activities. I don't carry coverage for scuba diving or, or you know, mount, mountain trekking or things like that. So it comes at a very reasonable price. There are countries where healthcare is free, including for tourists. But if you're moving from place to place, it's probably still best to buy the 12 month policy and just keep yourself covered. The third thing that you'll want to make sure that you're covered for as a digital nomad is loss or theft of your belongings. You're probably traveling with a laptop, a cell phone, a camera, 
at the least, and you'll need to make sure that these things are replaced if they're lost or stolen. I actually drowned my iPhone 5S in 2015 in the Philippines um, on, the, on the last stop of a beautiful excursion. I've had some bad luck in the Philippines, but if you'll watch my video on six countries that are most welcoming to black travelers, you'll see the Philippines made the list. So considering all the bad luck I had there, it must have been a phenomenal place for me to recommend it so heavily. So check out the video if you haven't already. But yeah, I, I drowned my phone and replaced it and then realized that my insurance would have covered me. So make sure that your insurance policy does cover replacement of those items because that's a very big chunk of money to have to use to replace your electronics. Travel insurance will also cover your luggage. I always make sure to book my flights with my credit card and not my debit card because my, cred my credit card covers me for lost or delayed luggage. So that might be something that your credit card might do for you. Uh, so check that out. If your cards don't cover that for you, you'll want to make sure that your travel insurance policy does cover your luggage as well. So there you have it. Those are three things that you need to make sure your insurance covers for you when you're heading off on your awesome gap year adventures. Please take a second to like this video if you like it and share it with your travel buddy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And the third thing that you want to make sure that you're covered for as a digital, why can't I say it?